Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm doing these cute drip nails using some Gershon gel polishes. So let's get straight into the video. So I'm going to start off with a quick unboxing and Gershon, I think that's how you say it, sent me their gel polishes to try out and review. So here it goes. So this is what the packaging looks like. It just comes in this cute compact box. And when you open it up, you get a instruction manual, which is super easy to follow. And yeah, it basically shows you how to apply, how to remove and some commonly asked questions as well, which is really nice. And there are also some images to help you understand better as well. And that's pretty much that. It also comes with these um, wipes that you can use um, to kind of prep your nail before you apply the poly the gel polish onto your nails so you just i think there's about 10 in there or something and then these are the colors that come in this kit so you get a beautiful mint green this one is s136 and it's just this really nice minty shade i don't have one of these colors in my collection yet so i was really happy to see one of those this is S135. Oh, sorry, the other one was S139, not 6, my bad. And this is like a nice, nice purplish berry kind of shade. Uh, yeah, really liked this color for one of the nails I did today. So, yeah, this is that. And these all seemed quite nice in consistency. They weren't super thick, but they were very, very pigmented. And there was no wrinkling with these. So, I really liked these. And I like it when it come the when gel polishes come in like nice glass bottles. It really helps to like not knock them over because they're nice and heavy a little bit. So yeah, that's something I also really like. It's also nice to have like the labels and the shade names on top of the cap, on top of the lid. It's just easier to find, especially like in my drawer of gel polish. I just find that it's just so much easier to kind of see what you're looking for. So these, I believe, were all 10 mil bottles, I believe. Um, and yeah, these were all just really, really good. I was really happy with each and every single one of these. And I also really liked how there were some vibrant colors in there, like this really nice reddish coral kind of shade. It was really nice. I really liked the red and the mint the most. I think those were very summery, perfect for this season. And yeah. I am, I am also doing the design on some press-on nails today because as you can see I currently am already wearing something it's just like a gold marble with um with like black and white and that's pretty much it I did use uh, glitter bells for that the glitter bells gel polishes okay so for today I'm doing an ombre and with the ombre I'm gonna actually use a makeup sponge this is a sponge that you can get from pretty much any store um, you just have to kind of go in the makeup section and you might see some makeup sponges. You can also get these from Amazon. And I like these because they're really good at packing on product and also really good at blending product. So this is actually probably the fastest way to, for me to do um, an ombre with whether it's gel polish or regular gel polish. This also works super well with um, like gel polish because... I've seen a lot of people do this with regular job, um, regular nail polish, but not gel polish. And I'm like, why? Just like try this technique out and it's, it still works just as well. I did find that I had to go in with another coat because the sponge does, does soak up some of the product. But uh, yeah, as you can see, that was like only a couple seconds and that's done. These were really pigmented, so it's honestly optional if you want to go in with a second coat. I did just to be sure that, you know, there was nothing peeking through. And now that the sun has come out, you know, it is easier to see through nails now. Especially when, like, you put your hand, like, in the sunlight. You can definitely see if the color's not opaque. So for these summer kind of looks, I definitely like to make sure that all my shades are nice and opaque. So yeah, as you guys can see, not much to it. Just reapply to the sponge if you need to kind of um, load up on your product. And that's pretty much it. And the combinations are endless. I could have done this with the pink and mint. I could have done this with the red and mint. But yeah, 
I kind of wanted to go with a dark background and then like a nice vibrant design on top so that was kind of like the colors I was trying to bring out I was trying to bring out more of those like neonish kind of colors those bright colors and this is the second coat so I'm not putting any more product on my sponge I'm just using what I have just to slightly go over it like I said these were super opaque um, so I didn't feel like I really needed to reload my sponge with more gel polish so yeah really happy about these these are available on amazon and are also available on gershon as well like their website and i also i think i have i'll have a disc a um a little code for you guys in the description box below so yeah definitely check that out to save yourself some money and this is an affiliate link so it will make me a small commission so yes, also if you haven't already liked the video, please definitely do hit the thumbs up button. It really helps my channel grow and I, it really makes me happy when I see you guys hitting that thumbs up button. So yes, please don't forget to do that. So on for the onto the design, I'm doing like a nice drip kind of nail. It was really, it's a really simple design. I was thinking more like flowers, but I don't know, I kind of wanted to do a drip nail because I kind of wanted to um, do like an outline with some of the colors as well. I kind of had this little image in mind. So I just went with the drip design. And as you can see, these apply super well. Um, they weren't moving around too much. They weren't moving around at all actually. Um, just don't obviously apply super thick, otherwise they will kind of wrinkle up in the UV light as any gel polish would. And then I kind of wanted to go around with like a bright color around the drips and I just thought this was super cool. This kind of reminded me of a look I did for like a Halloween set I think last year. It was really really cool. I really enjoyed it. And for this finger I think I went in with four drip. Uh, wait one two three four yeah. So I went in with about four drips on this one. It was a little tricky especially on a small nail but I think this was a lot more cool. And yeah, as you can see, really pigmented. Even this light shade over the dark purple is like super pigmented and I'm not having any trouble. I did not go over the drips with a second coat either. And yeah, really good so far. And the brush I'm using is from Madame Glam. I've done a review on Madame Glam's brushes and gel paints. If you're interested, I will have that linked down below. And you can use Camin 30 for 30% off Madame Glam. Now for this color, it was like probably my most favorite nail. I really liked this kind of purplish shade against like the purple that was already underneath. I don't know. I just felt like it kind of added to the ombre effect. And then I went around with this cute mint shade. Really, really nice for summer now. And yeah, this was probably my most favorite nail. Let me know down below which one was your most favorite nail. I think the one before this one was for me. So yeah. Let me know down in the comments section below. And that is it pretty much for all the nails. I'm just adding a good layer of juicy top coat. And this is from, I believe, the Ohu Who Poly Gel Kit review that I did. Um, I will link that down in the description box below. And yeah, I'm just finishing those nails up and 
I will be showing you these on in a minute. I'm just going to stick them on super quick. And yeah, really, really nice. After you apply your top coat, the ombre will smooth out a little bit like from the sponge. Um, it leaves a tiny little bit of texture, but as soon as you apply your top coat, it's nice and smooth and it's all nice and encapsulated. So this is the final look. As you can see, this is all really looking really juicy. Um, I really like how these turn out. Don't forget to check out the, dis the um, description box below for the discount codes. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.